What is good, guys? Hey, at this moment, I'm not going to be doing my intro. I'm just going to get on here, guys, to tell the Texas A&M Aggies congratulations for picking up their four-star. On some sites, he's a five-star. Their four-star wide receiver for Seals B, Texas. Now, let's go to the PC, right? Guys, rags are still. I don't know what's going on. But I'm not doing my intro. We're going to see how we can get along without doing the intro, right? But you got the Texas A&M Aggies, right? It is approximately 8.30 at night Eastern Time. On June the 29th, this guy just made his commitment online. He was live. He went live, right? And he had a nice big banquet going on. He actually played a video that actually showed his commitment. They sung happy birthday to people. He actually, he was a uh, he was a crowd pleaser. As he was emceeing a little bit, you know, he asked the people, hey, do you want me to go to USC? Do you want me to go to LSU? Do you want me to go to Georgia? And they had a they had a ball, they had a blast, right? So it was a pretty good venue that he had going on, right? But this guy, you got Draylon Miller. He hails from Sealsby, Texas. He's in the class of 2024. He goes to Sealsby High School. He plays the position of wide receiver. He stands at six foot. He weighs 190 pounds, right? This guy is a four-star. Now, this is according to 247. Everything I'm getting you, giving you is coming from 247. This guy is a four-star, 93 overall, 76 nationally. He's the number 14 receiver, the number 13 player in the state of Texas. Pretty good, young man. Now, the crystal ball already had him leaning towards Texas A&M, right? But it came down between really USC, LSU, and Texas A&M. I think it was more between USC and Texas A&M, right? He was recruited by the likes of USC, LSU, Texas A&M, Miami, Arkansas. But in the end, Texas A&M was just a little bit too strong for him not to go there. You got Mr. Uh, Petrino is going to be coaching the offense, and I think that right there was a a, 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 a big changer for him. And he want to go down there and play for them Jimbo Fishes, them fighting Jimbo Fishes, them Texas A&M Aggies, right? You got this guy, Gabe Brooks, which is the national scouting analyst over at 247 Sports. He compares him to Jonathan Mingo with the Carolina Panthers, right? It says here, this is what he says about Mr. Uh, Draylon Miller, right? He says, devastating offensive weapon who makes plays for his high school team at receiver, running back, and wildcat quarterback, accompanied by ample defensive snaps and return game experience. Wins with physical tools, instincts, tenacity, and football IQ. One of the most dynamic run after catch playmakers in the country produced astronomical receiving numbers and limited but strong rushing totals in sophomore and junior campaigns. So hey, this guy got a big write up. I can read it forever. It says here, also plays basketball. Three phase contributor with extensive snaps on both sides of the ball. Average 17.5 points, 4.4 rebounds, 3.9 assists, and 2.1 steals during sophomore basketball campaign. In, 22, in uh, 2021, he was a te the Texas District 11 4A D2 Co Offensive Player of the Year as a sophomore. In 2022, Texas Sports Writer Association. Class 4A first team all state selection as a junior. So those are all the accolades. He had a visit with Texas AM June 21st. He visited South Carolina, I mean um Southern California June 16th. He visited Duke June 9th. He visited Miami June the 2nd. And he also visited Texas AM first on April the 15th. So he's visited Texas AM several times. Guys, as I've always said before, Texas A&M, get over there and show this young man the ropes. Don't let him fail, right? Embrace him as a community. Hey, man, and show this guy that the sky's not even the limit. Push him up through the stratosphere, right? Um, even though you guys, Texas A&M, 
We play you guys and I want to beat you every time we touch the football field. I do want to say congratulations to you and your new recruit, right? I know his family's proud of him. He's he's happy to be a, a Aggie right now. So just treat him the way that he's supposed to be treated. And I hope him a healthy, happy, successful career. Old Rags is out of here already. Yeah.